Hi, my name is Sylvie Brownie and I'm the Director of Teaching and Learning here at AISK. My job really involves the teaching and learning and working with teachers and students to help them be the best that they can be. So today we're going to talk about student engagement and how that helps learning. Our goal really is to prepare students to tackle complex problems to come up with plans for solutions and to, and to reflect on what they've come up and to be able to communicate with these plans. So in this context, you know, the soft skills of creative thinking, creative problem solving, innovation, critical thinking, um, communication and collaboration become particularly important. Mastering these soft skills really requires a great deal of student engagement. And what engagement really means is engagement with the content, so what they're learning, it's engagement with the skills that they need to practice, so giving them several opportunities to practice these skills, engagement with each other, collaboration, asking questions of teachers, asking questions of other students, their peers, and also asking themselves questions, which kind of brings us to that last piece of engagement, which is the reflective piece, the introspective piece. This type of engagement works best, as you can imagine, in a face-to-face -face classroom, because it allows uh, students the opportunity to kind of look at each other, um, learn from each other, ask questions of their teachers, and it's just a more organic environment for engagement. So when I arrived after teaching uh, distance learning, for about three months when we first heard about COVID and closed the school in March. When we arrived back in August and we were so happy to see each other, one of the first things I did is to ask my IB students, you know, about their experience and whether or not they were happy to be here. So um, I, asked them, I asked them this about a week after we had started school and their answers were, um, were maybe not surprising, but they were so excited to be back. And one of the things that they talked about is just being able to ask the question in real time to, to work with each other in, um, in, in real time as opposed to having to have a, a schedule, a Google Meet. That kind of disconnect uh, was hard for them to get accustomed to. So maybe it would be a good idea to hear from the, the students' mouths themselves about their experiences and the differences between the distance learning program and the face-to-face -face program.